What is good everyone on YouTube? It is your boy Amherst Got Kicks and I'm back again with another video. If sorry you've been gone for a long time, I've been working a lot, but I will be bringing more and more content, so please be patient. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. I'll much appreciate the love and support. If you're already subscribed, just leave a like and a comment, and I'll much appreciate it. You already know our goal, 200 plus subscribers. We're almost at that mark. Just keep finessing the subscribe button. Please make sure to hit the notification bell symbol next to it. Once you subscribe, it'll notify me, and it'll notify you every time. And when I upload new content, it'll uh, go to your subscription box right away. It'll let you know that I've uploaded new content. Now, you, you probably watched my video on my Joby Gorilla Pod and my Manfrotto products and all that stuff that, the vlogging equipment that I recently picked up. I will be picking up uh, the studio lights, the mini ones that, you know, you can mount on the sides when you're out on the go and stuff. But um, I set it up and this is what it looks like. Now, I've still yet to figure out iMovie but um I didn't even know you could get vlogging equipment for cell phones and uh I just yeah I thought it was kind of cool it's much more lighter weight than a DSLR camera I will be getting into a DSLR eventually but for the time being this is pretty good so I mounted my Rode uh video mic go to the Manfrotto twist grip. You can, like I said, you could have it sideways, you could have it standing up, you can have it whatever way you want. I have my fifth gen iPod Touch right here that I recently picked up. Got it for 130, pretty good price, I would say so. It didn't come with a charger, but I bought a charger for it. I'm like, whatever, it's fine. My sister has a iPhone 7 Plus, so I could probably borrow one of her chargers sometime. Um, I might buy an iPhone later on uh, to see what it's like. I've never owned one. Uh, but yeah, I have my Manfrotto um, Pixie Mini, I think it was called, uh, tripod connected to the bottom. Now you can have it whatever way you want. You, If you want it standing, you can have it standing. You want to hold it upright, you can hold it upright. If you push these grips right here, you can actually uh, pull them like this. Have it standing even taller. You can even take the legs off and use it as like a screwdriver to, um, I believe, like adjust it or tighten it or whatever way you want to. Now, it looks pretty dope. Honestly, it looks pretty cool in my opinion. Like, like you can have it towards yourself like this. You can have like this. Yeah, like that. You can have it sideways. You can have your iPod standing upright. It works with all smartphones. It's not, you know, restricted to, and it's not specific. Like, you can have an iPhone. You can have a uh, Galaxy S8, a Note 8. You can have any like smartphone i put my galaxy s8 in it and i don't know it, it, like it looked dope but in my opinion honestly i think it looks better with the a, a ipod or a iphone because they're a bit you know on the slimmer side uh the s8 is a slim phone but it's kind of chunky so like you know but um like yeah like you can have it whatever way possible now i'll show you what it looks like when it's um just open this up for you guys. Show you what it looks like when it's connected to a uh, Joby uh, Gorillapod mobile rig. Now, I did go to a local electronic shop. I was looking into getting a um, mini studio light for on-the-go vlogging. And... Price-wise, they're actually not that expensive. They can get up there. Um, 
the one the guy showed me at the electronic shop was I think eighty dollars, and if I were to get a Manfrotto one, which was a LED one, that one would set me back about a hundred and twenty nine, so about one thirty plus tax. So here in Canada, we have a well, in the province I live in, BC. A British Columbia it's a 12% government tax so let's say 129.99 with roughly 130 exactly plus 12% government tax I'd be looking at like around 150 ish in the end now not the cheapest but uh, you know Manfrotto makes like really high quality products so I will show you what you know it looks like when it's mounted to the Joby Gorillapod mobile rig So here we go. Now you can mount another mic mount at the top, the cold shoe mount, but this one already has a mount on it. It did come with an extra one, but it was like, I don't honestly see the point in, you know, putting a spare one on here. Now, if this thing chooses to, you know, go in, and uh, come on what the hell go in really hope I don't have to put the cold shoe mount on here oh wait I think it went in yep yep oh wait somewhat sorry about that it's just uh this thing's being kind of stupid right now but cold shoe mount oh wait it went in perfect it has this little bolt at the back, this little screw. It was being kind of picky, but the cold shoe mounts for like, you know, if you want to hook up like a GoPro or whatever. But um, anyways, all that being said, further ado, um, let's tighten this up. And now, ah, oh, come on, what the fuck. But, um... Yeah, like, this is what it looks like. Now, you can have it whatever way you want. You can have it standing upright. You can have it, like, if you tilt this thing at the back, you can have it like this, straight. Uh, if you want it sideways, you have it sideways. And you can, on the side, mount a GoPro, which on the side, or you can take this off. If you would like, you can mount a studio light, which I will be doing. I'll be mounting studio lights on the side, but you can have, you can be holding it like this when you're vlogging. You can have it like this, like this, or you can have it, like if you need to put it on a surface, you can have the legs open like this. Now you can have the arms down if you prefer. Right. Or you can have them up like this. Now, I will probably have them upright because personally, I think it's kind of annoying and it gets in the way. But yeah, I'm going to have it like... This thing came open. Happens sometimes, but anyways. But um yeah, I'm gonna have it like this. I know it may look kind of stupid, but like I'm gonna have studio lights mounted up here so when I'm you know if I'm ever out at nighttime vlogging or anything like that, I can have them like this. You know, I can have it like this. And the brightness honestly on those studio lights is ridiculous. Like you can they have actually a brightness setting like you can tone it down 
when I tried it out in the store, the brightness settings were like blinding. They were there were LEDs that were really bright, but they have a, a switch on the side, like a well, not a switch, but a button. You can actually keep pressing it, and it will bring it down to very like minimum brightness. Like it'll be very dim. So like you, it won't be too intense for you, but like you know, like it doesn't look half bad. I personally prefer, um, I have other Gorillapod, uh, you know, tripods and stuff, but I personally, I prefer on the, um, on the Manfrotto twist grip, and this right here. It's just a little, this one's not too heavy, but this does have a bit of weight to it, this one. It's crazy to believe this, but this, you know, I overpaid for this, yes. This goes for forty dollars retail. I paid with free shipping and everything. I paid about eighty-five, maybe ninety dollars for this. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but came earlier than expected in the mail. But and I well, the twist grip's not sold at that store, but I overpaid for that too. But fuck it, whatever. Sometimes you have to overpay. Now, you may be wondering about recent sneaker pickups. I posted a video a few days ago about sneakers that I took L's on this year. Yeah, a lot of sneakers I took L's on this year. Um, am I upset about it? Yeah, I am fucking upset. It's bullshit because when um, the I know they were women's exclusive release only. But, um, I honestly think it was bullshit, like, that, uh, the satin shattered backboard Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG sold out. I tried getting them. No luck on Nike's website. Release day. I tried Foot Locker the next day. No luck. It was the same thing with the shadows. The same thing with the bread toes. Um, pretty much every Jordan Retro release this year. Um, I will be trying to get the, well, first of all, Nike.ca didn't even release the Blue Moon Air Jordan ones or the Clay Greens. They said they were going to, release day I went there, they didn't drop. But, tomorrow, the, you know, the Track Red or the Six Rings, whatever they're called, those are dope in my opinion. They look very similar to the Black Toes and the Bread Toes to me. Uh, the color blocking is kind of similar, but instead of being red leather on the back, it's red suede. Um, and you know, Air Jordan ones are just a very wearable sneaker. They're just dope. Same with Air Force ones. Uh, I found triple black SF AF ones, the SF Air Force ones, for a pretty good price. Uh, there's a store in Calgary called Less One Seven or like Less Seven or something like that. Um, on their website right now, they have the triple black SF AF ones. Now, I don't consider the mids to be SS. Those are just fucking ugly. I hate them. Uh, the high top ones I love. Uh, those ones are going for 120 Canadian right now, which isn't bad. Like, that's actually pretty cheap. Um, I, right now, I'm stuck between those or the deep burgundy SFs. But, yeah, that could be a potential pick up for me uh retails 240 plus tax so 120 taxes in i'm paying 127 that's pretty good with shipping included so i'm like hey what the hell but that was today's video guys much love thanks for watching if you're new to the channel subscribe like and comment i couldn't say it anymore just subscribe 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 keep supporting i'll be back again with another video possibly an unboxing video you never know but until later, guys, it is a beautiful day. I'm in, I'm out. Peace. Y'all be easy. I don't have any sneakers on me, so there you go. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart, with all of my heart, actually. But keep supporting, liking, commenting. Let other people know that you know about this channel. We are going to be doing big shit this year. Now, I'm not made out of money, I know, but I will be trying to bring back as much content as fast as possible. But see you guys later. Peace. Bye. I'm out.